RDP hands-on. The purpose of this hands-on is to test the RDP protection. First step, we will create and load a blinking project on the Nucleo board. Then we will do a transition to the RDP level 1 and check the status. Then we will do a regression to level 0. Ok, let's switch now to the STM32 cube EDL. Let's start a new project. So I've got the target selector. I select board L476 nucleo. Let's call it test LDP. And finish. We initialize all the peripheral with the default mode. So we've got the pinout defined, the code has been generated. And now let's move to the main and add the blinking code. So in the main, I will go in the Y1 loop and here I will just add the GPIO toggling. So let's start with LP, LG2, this port, LG2, control space to have the completion and pin. I will add a short delay. And that's it for the code. Let's build the project. Then we will download it. So debugger is connected. It has been downloaded if I load the code. Let's check the status. LED is blinking. Fine. Now I propose to do the transition from RDP level 0 to the level 1. To do this, we will use the STM32 cube programmer. You can also do this in your code, thanks to a shell command, but I think it's more simpler here to use the STM32 cube programmer. So here, here, let's connect to the board. Oh, sorry, I forget to get the debugging link here from STM32 cube programmer. So I remove it, now I can connect. So here I'm connected on the board, so the core is alt. I can check the flash content, everything is available. And now I move to the option byte. Let's check the readout protection, no protection at all. So let's move to the RDP level 1. Apply. Option byte is successfully programmed, okay? So now I disconnect, and if I push the reset button, no blinking LED. You remember in the theory, I warned you about the fact when you program the RDP level, you need to do a full power cycle. So here to do this, I will remove the jumper and put it again. And now my program is functional, okay? So this is really important to have this in mind. So I'm in RDP level 1. Let's try to connect and dump the flash content. So if I connect, I've got a warning. Error data read fail. What happened? Here, we try to access this address. And if I try, say it's not possible. All the flash content is locked. And doing this, I violate, I would say, the security. And now, even if the core, if I disconnect, the LED is not blinking. If I do a reset, it's not blinking. The only way to ensure it will blink again is to do a full power cycle. Oops, sorry, I'm better. Here we've got the LED blinking back. 
Okay, so our code is well protected. Now let's do a regression because we can still modify the option byte, even if I can't access the flash. So if I connect again, I go on the option byte and I do the regression to the ADP level zero. If I apply it, so option byte successfully programmed. And if I have a look in my flash content, I was able to read it, but now you can see it has been erased. During the transition of the RDP level 1 to RDP level 0, there is a flash mass erase, and you can prevent this. This is a security mechanism. So here now I've got a board without any firmware inside. I think that's what I want to show you with this hands-on. Thank you.